This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by HostGator. Coming up, it's finally time to let you know what we thought of the much-anticipated Mass Effect 3. Show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our five-year anniversary week. We have wow. been doing this show for five years. Five by five. That's the, is that the paper anniversary? What is that? I think it's uh, Stone Golem. I don't know why. Stone that. Golem. <laughs> it, it's different with TV shows. It's either that or Pipe. Five years, guys. Five years. Five years. And we haven't really taken a big break. I mean, we haven't, we, some, we haven't missed a single yeah. week, week of brand new of, content. We've never done just filler. We've never taken a, a week off. We've never put out yeah. just a... Uh, uh, shimmy shim? Shimmy sham or flim flam, man. <laughs> There's never been speak. a clip show until, until, <laughs> until today. Yeah. No, yeah. that's not true. Yeah. But we do want to say, we do this every year, our favorite background from the last year has to be... Oh, wait. There it's, it's already there. up. <laughs> this, uh, the Ghostbusters 2 oil painting of us. How awesome as, is that? As a... Uh, uh, Svelte gods. That's right. And that's Thank from you. Amanda realistic, Morales. very, very real Morley. naturalistic depictions Morley. of our bodies. Very. She sent, I, I sent yeah. reference photos yeah. of, yeah. of somebody else. Uh, yeah, that's all Dan's chest across. <laughs> three Dan's. Yeah. Um, we have to thank every single person that sent in their backgrounds yes. all year long. And all five years, we've done every single week of this show. We've, we've been new... possible because one of you has sent us your artwork. Except for our anniversary episodes. That's a lot. Well, we've repeated. well, it's still them. Yeah, but that's I've just true. been thinking, that's no, he said new. hundreds yeah. and hundreds of backgrounds that's, that we've what received. What is that? That's like 250. And, oh, no, no. Yeah. 250 weeks. Yeah. Wow. We've been doing this show for 250 weeks. Two, that's, all, that's like... That's, a, that's, <laughs> that's more, more than... It's 250... 260. Math. It's How many awesome. minutes has it been, though? Okay, no, 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 okay. so right. before we do any of them... Any, before we continue It's been five math. years. We know, we know that. Uh, so all this week, instead of Twitter questions at the bottom, we're going to have a little glimpse into year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. Should be awesome. Should be. I'm very excited. Uh, and you. also, on Tuesday, I mean, let's just, we'll, we'll start with today. Today, we're finally getting a, a look at Mass Effect 3, which is going to be great. Yeah, and we're Tuesday, finally getting around to reviewing that. And Tuesday is our actual yes. day, March 27th, 2007, <laughs> is when our show debuted. So March 27th, 2012... We we're will be doing be, uh, our fifth year anniversary extravaganza. You won't want to miss it. Lots of fun stuff. Yes. We never, oh my God. Never would have thought, you know? Who'd have thought? Uh, Wednesday, we have finally seen The Raid, and we are going to talk about it with you guys. Correct. And, and again, uh, finally, I don't know what we've been doing these last few weeks. <laughs> uh, Thursday, we are going to be talking about Journey from uh, that game company. You happen to hopefully see last week we did Versus, the very popular uh, movie list best of all time mm. compilation episode. It's March. We figured, why not do March Madness? Keep those brackets going. Keep trying to find the best movies. And we are honing. Keep honing. Honing. Top 100. Friday. Tune in. Honing. All right, people. Let's get into the show. Whip. Happy five. We are finally getting around to our review of Mass Effect 3. If you Phew. have been living under a rock and you don't know yeah. what Mass Effect 3 is, it's the, it's the uh, culmination of the Mass Effect trilogy that was all released on the Xbox 360 from Bioware. Uh, this last installment is the S hitting the F, the ma major big battle against the Reapers. And it's the, really the reaping. It's the reaping. <laughs> Wait, it's on all platforms though, right? It is now. Uh, it it's is on now. PS yeah, but it was on, as the first Xbox game was an Xbox too. exclusive. Right. I think it went to PS3 though. The first game e e eventually. Eventually. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, you were gonna get emails, so I, I appreciate yeah. that. Protect I always think about it as an exclusive because that first announcement was. It was the same time yeah. that there's like two trilogies were announced. Uh, the yeah. Silicon Knights game. Um, Too Human. Too Human was also yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Didn't uh, come to fruition. Right. Anywho, Mass Effect Three, of course. Uh, we don't need to tell you about it. You know what it is. Massive space opera action game. Dan, I know that you are a huge fan of the first two games. Lots of expectations. We're going to talk about uh, about the the sort of controversy that's coming out. We'll talk about that separately. At the, uh, yes, separately. Mm -hmm. so tell the me, separate. yes, tell me 
what you think of what they did with the third game. Did it? I had very mixed emotions playing this game, Jeff and Alex. Mm. Mixed emotions. What were the two choices of emotions? <laughs> some, some of the, uh, this is what was interesting. <clears throat> the graphics are great, but I was so floored by the graphics in Mass Effect 2 mm. and the production design. Just like, it was so beautiful. Uh, this felt like it just, I mean, well, I, this I, is I where we are. Now. Like, it yeah. was ahead of the curve, and now I, it's the curve. Right. I can't, so I can't even really criticize it for it. I wish I could have be wowed, but come on, how much of a dick am I? I'm like, can't you just, can you be as, like, spectacularly amazing as the last game? I mean, like, it's still awesome looking. Um, but it just didn't, it just sort of like, eh, I maybe think Mass Effect 2 looked better. Oh, well, your, your TV isn't really good. <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, your TV's too but, good now. <laughs> and I'll tell you what else, too. Every, you know, I was really excited for the Transformers 3 New York scene. You know, I was really excited for it. Now the battle is on Earth. You know, we've been in all that these happens. crazy planets. London. Happens. Here's the thing. It happens in London and it happens in the, in the opening scene. It, the opening scene colored my entire gaming experience for the rest. Because here we are. The S is hitting the F. We're in a city, theoretically. And we're outside. We're not inside. But everything, even when you're outside, it always feels like you're in a corridor. And that but that is was my... the first two games as well. And when you go to a planet, you know and an what? entire planet is just a corridor. Yes, but the, but I don't know. I At was... least now there's multiple locations on the same maybe, planet. Maybe it's taken three um, goes times to make for me for it to that. finally see some of the flaws. Because I definitely saw some of the things that you've been complaining about over the years. The the, the choices, mm. the black the um, binary choices, has finally taken its toll on me. Um, especially <clears> when. <throat> Even when you don't get the Par Paragon or Renegade impulse choices, which I actually kind of like those theoretically, um, when you're just in a regular dialogue tree, I know that if I pick that there's a top, middle, and bottom, yeah. or top and bottom, if I pick top, that's good, and if I pick bottom, it's Renegade, even right. though they're not colored that way. And because I only, I, so I would only just, I'm a Paragon, so I'd always pick, I never yeah. had any, it was never a choice. I never felt yeah. like I had any choice to make ever because I'm. Because it's it, awarding you points. It's awarding me yeah. points. And, and I won't be able to unlock dialogue options if I play both Paragon and Renegade, because then I'm, then I'm not getting enough to, to get my way out of, talk my way out of situations later. So I feel like either make it gray like they do in the Dragon Age games where where I you really think don't know. I'm picking. Yeah. Where yeah. The goal is to be Paragon, right. but you have to find the way to be Paragon. It's yeah. not going to be laid out there for you. Yeah. Or um, make mm. it very much more clear, like, or, or I was like, if we adjusted impulses, mm. you know, it's like you always have to really pay attention because you have to impulse, like, be a Paragon in that moment or, or really, anyway. Um, that started to not work for me, that, the, the choice structure, the dialogue structure. And you know I've um, had a problem with that since the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Um, combat, what about combat? Combat, I like, but once again, I mean, you can't go wrong with the amazing, um, using those powers mm -hmm. with the fight, I mean, I just can't. Did you have a connect? I love that. No, I didn't. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I didn't yeah. get to do we'll the voice command. I didn't feel like I ever had to direct, in other games, it was always hold a, hold a button down, mm -hmm. pause it, what power are they using, what power are they using, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed that quite a bit, the strategy. I, unfortunately, unfortunately, the AI was so good, the partner AI was so good in this game that I never had to direct them. They were always kicked ass for me. Really? Even and at the I end? never had to direct, direct them. Who's yeah, your, who's your go to end. team? Um, it was, uh, well, I would use their powers for them sometimes, but I oh. never had to like go here, go oh, there. I see. You know what I mean? Who's your go to team? But um, uh, Liara Edie. and Edie. Yeah, me yeah. too. Mm. Well, they had, their yeah. powers were the best yeah. against Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mr. Connect, you were using it? So, you, you gotta mention the Connect functionality. Yeah. Because we all saw the Connect functionality at E3, and I, I, I will not speak for the world, but I went, Pfft, what? Pfft, yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> I thought you were. It does it. sound like you. Then, <laughs> then, and I might have been into it then. That's just how I remember me feeling. Uh, like, so, no. you know, I don't go by future, I go in now. Right. Uh, or path, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you, man, I turned that on. Woof. There is a different kind of experience available mm -hmm. in this game. If you are not playing with the Kinect, man. First off, all those conversations, and I totally agree with you about the, the stuff, and the, the, the impulse stuff, I didn't, I, I could, I could, I mean, it's, it's simple. If you, if you pull this one, it's bad. If you pull this one, it's good or whatever. But you see a prompt and you want to just pull something. I just something. pulled something. So yeah. I'm like punching I reporters I and stuff. I, I had no just, idea what was that's happening. That's the problem with the ending. Hopefully we'll get to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So, so the, but, but the pre when, you add into, yeah. when you add in the connect, you literally start a conversation and you take your controller and you put it over there. 
and you literally speak to the other person. Wait, what? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, you can read In, what you read. Read what they say. So instead of making a choice That's on right, the controller, right. you just say. It's pretty cool. It's, it, it, it is so unbelievably immersive. I was shocked at how you know immersive what? it was. I, I'm really excited it. for the first person game that does it that you never hear yeah, your voice. I know, and that's because the, he just restates it. Yeah. If he didn't, yeah. it would actually be me talking it to It would, and I think that if there totally was going to be a Mass Effect 4, they would say, if the, input, if, yeah. if the input oh, yeah. is from the Kinect, then just don't say it. I mean, that, that's not that big of a stretch. But the other thing is in combat, when you're running around and you, all you have to do is go cryo ammo, and it just you just start putting your cryo ammo That's on while awesome, you're going. Right? Sticky grenade, and it just throws a sticky grenade. So you're just shooting, but all the other commands that you're doing, you're just saying them, and it's happening, and it feels amazingly smooth. So that's the Connect experience if you haven't had it. What's it like for Heather walking around and hearing you go? It's the Sing only, it's the awesome. only thing that gets Kill, a little I don't bit. Save my people. It's the only thing that gets a little people. weird. Amy, Amy was trying to sabotage conversations. She would be like, yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to be a renegade. And she'd be like, like shoot that guy. Kill him. Kill yeah. him. I was like, quiet. So there is a little bit of that, but by yourself in a, in a room or whatever, it's good. <laughs> uh, so a couple things. Um, I actually had the exact same uh, thought that you did, which I actually thought that this felt looked worse than Mass Effect 2. Not only that, I had a real big problem with the character uh, um, animations, an no, creation and animations, very okay. stiff. Yeah. But the character creations, every time I tried to make my, because I, I didn't play through two enough to be able to bring in my shepherd. It doesn't matter. I finished two and I wouldn't let yeah. me bring my face in. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. Bug. Like that. So here's the thing. My face. But so so you had the exact same situation, <laughs> which is I had a character in Mass Effect Two, but I couldn't get my face in. Trying to make, I tried to make an attractive woman five times. And they all looked like they had just recently been hit with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> and What's it that say really about what you think an slowed woman? the roll on the lesbian stuff because I was like, if I'm playing a chick this time, because I played, I'm, I'm gonna get some lesbian action in this mofo. <laughs> and then it would be like, I'd be having this conversation. It'd be like this gorgeous girl, you know what I mean? Like a lot, you're like, oh yeah, you're so great. And, also, and then it would turn and be like, bah! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wanted lesbianism. I didn't want like really ugly man That's why you and put a, a woman. helmet on her. I should have just kept That's the helmet. What God on made the helmets for. <laughs> and it was God. the paper bag of Mass Effect Three. Uh, <laughs> horrible. But uh, but so so I had a really big to hard time with the graphics. So I never really was like, wow, this looks. Great. It always just felt. Hmm. I mean, the scale. Boy, I didn't feel that way at all, guys. But the what scale is amazing. So here's the other thing. The one okay. other thing I'm going to say, and then, and then I'm done because I really enjoy this game. I mean, talk about. I mean, it's it's top notch, notch storytelling. It's hard for me to really classify this as an RPG. I mean, you you get. It's an action game. It really. is an action game because yeah. now that we're getting so many little RPG elements coming into our action, action games, games anyway. you you realize there's really no RPG elements in this. There's like, what what line am I going to go on? And then I'm going down this linear corridor. That's the next piece of item I'm supposed to have. Yeah. There's and no it really choice, is really. action set Why piece to action set piece to action set piece. I would love. And Mass Effect what One had loot. Do you remember that we had looting the whole thing? But yeah. they pulled all of that back for Mass Effect Two. Almost none of it in there. Yeah. And then they put a little bit back in. So I'm happy that they put a little bit back in. But it is. It's really hard. It's almost like playing Heavy Rain and then Gears and then Heavy Rain and then Gears and then Heavy Rain and then Gears, but not playing an RPG space opera. Uh, and I, the combat gets a little repetitive now. I, I sort I, of feel I, like I've think, done it. I think that we should, well, I think we should just, yeah. uh, based on, because you mentioned it, but it's a great game. It's a great game. Really, it's easy to nit, nitpick it, all these things because of how good it is. It is a yeah. title. It you is a must-play yeah. if you like this kind Before of game. Before you go into your full thoughts, you were saying you, you like the graphics. How did you feel about the animations? Because I really feel like I'm witnessing the end of this gener like, sometimes you're like in a generation of, of mm. gaming, uh, console games, and you're like, you're like, how could it look better than this? You know? I don't know what and you I'm mean. Like, I don't know what you mean. The way people move, there's a, and it, it's like, I think it's probably in all games, yeah. but I'm seeing it now in this, and it's yeah. probably in all games, but there's a way you people move where like, <laughs> now I have a good TV, um, where uh, it's uncanny, it, I guess it's uncanny valley, but like, it's so, it's so, hi, I'm, mm. where, eh, 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 Well, where I had a problem with horrible. the animations is the. But that didn't the, happen in Gears. Like, if you think of the animations true. in Gears, it's very Gears buttery smooth. smooth and, but but and not to compare, but, you know. Yeah. No, I, well, where, where I had a big problem with, with the animations <laughs> is in the, the this, this, the third one has so many more climb over this, jump up that, yeah. go up a thing, and I have to like double tap my A button and wait for him to do his climby animation. Yeah. And it just felt really clunky. And it, the the and with platforming, the ring to it. nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing. And like I said, this is a great game. I'm glad I played through it. I have I have some major nitpicks. This isn't my favorite series. It never was. Yeah. Uh, I 
it, it is much more an action game than it ever was, and that's it's really fun. I like you loved the Connect stuff. Oh God, yeah. And I was really shocked at how much different it felt, and how you know some people are like, well, well I could just it's just voice commands. You could just wear a headset. No, that misses it. I, yeah. The fact that you're just sitting there talking to your television. It's pretty. It's pretty remarkable. I had a great time playing it. Let's let's hit the ending a little bit because that's caused so much of a <clears throat> of a uproar among people. It's really surprising to me. Um, what did you think? Well, first of all, we were nodding to each other about. Well, let's that. spoiler this, by the way. Spoiler cam. Right. Yeah. The pre-ending, where it's the conversation with the guy before you make have to make a decision, and there is an impulse renegade thing that pops up. Yeah, and, and if I, you don't, I, I'm not too. a renegade. I'm a paragon, so I would arrest you renegade. I I wait it out, hmm. and, and then a second one. Yeah, and then if you wait, yeah, there's there's two, right? right? Wait it out, and then game over. Yep. And I was like, what? You the heck? have to and be. Then, and then not only that, now I have to sit here and watch the whole conversation again, and yeah, the whole time I'm thinking like. What if I choose the wrong? What if even when I hit it, it's the wrong one? Do I have to sit here and watch this again? What is the? What, I agree what with was you. That the was design? Re- yeah, really, really strange. Weird. Um, so that's that. I actually let me just say this because I haven't touched on the story of this game and the story of this. Tri- I think this is a phenomenal pinnacle science fiction story. It's an incredible what the bad guys are doing, what the good guys are doing, what's behind it all is great. Sometimes that gets lost in the moment to mo- moment minutia, how it's articulated, is in, is a little bit. Sometimes it's just too hard sci-fi. It's nice. It's like mm. I'm, it would play better as a novel than as a cinematic experience. Yeah. Or especially when you're like watching a console that's like a right. down angle of two people talking. What is that? But what's driving behind that is the, a wonderful fiction. The ending, the very very ending, where you have to make a Good choice or a bad choice, and I, there is a middle of the road. I was reading about all the yeah, options. There's three the endings, te- um, technically. I thought was oh, I did not think it was. I don't even know how. To, so before we get into the controversy of it, just what I thought of the ending, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, if I hadn't heard right. all the uproar about it, I would have thought, oh, this is kind of a typical kind of weird sci-fi ending that right. is kind it of would not have been as great as the game as you would think it should be. Yeah, but I would never have been like, oh, uh, uproar. Right. It just seems like I'm a kind of you. like a, a flaccid, typical science fiction cop out mm, right. ending. But you would. But you would hope that Mass Effect would be better. Sure, because but of the it's caliber not of the game, terrible. But it's not terrible. Yeah, I agree. I agree completely. I think that the now this controversy of now, but people were in uproar, and well, now they're actually saying some people are saying that Bioware may come out and change the ending, which I don't think yeah. they should. Yeah, well, now that Bioware has, has, has confirmed yeah. that they are now. Well, right? they're, before they're they were doing something almost, to clarify. It. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I think and the only thing I think that is horrible. Um, but it, to me. I don't. If, if they loved the ending to the game, if they were proud of what they had done. I don't think they'd be doing this. They don't I, need to. I, I disagree. I, I really, I really think it's uh, unfortunately one of those. Uh, it's evidence of the inmates running the asylum a little yeah, bit. Like right. they're capitulating, and it's it's sad to me. But I think they had a. I think they put out a pride that was a. Yeah, it was I didn't love what we did. You know, I really. I why would like, they do that? I don't. I, time, money. I mean, come well, on. Well, there's a the there's the day, a lot of come we, out. we've been you know commenting I mean? on a lot of things that were less than awesome. Yeah. So I mean, I so to me, there's sort of an agreement that um, they they, they put out a thing that they weren't totally proud of. I feel like that is a tacit agreement of that. By by, I can't imagine if you're super proud of your ending, you go. Yeah, no, you would they never go. To. They're making money. Well, yeah. they're not it's changing like, the ending necessarily. We don't know what they're doing. We don't know what do. they're doing, yeah. I, it's, it's bizarre. And it, yeah. And but there's also comments. And I never heard the ending isn't the only bad only thing. The people were talking about ta- the way they handle Tali Zora's character, how you see what she looks like without the mask on. Mm. And it's a picture from Getty Images, which is what people do all the time. But because some, suddenly someone was aware of this, mm. they're like, how they they just got they couldn't have hired a model to do it. So what? Yeah, yeah hot cast model. Matter. It looks just like the girl. That was a model that was cast. Yeah, exactly. Like, Forgetting. It's just people that don't. It just. Uh, yeah. It's just. It, it's a little infuriating. Yes. The the um entitlement. And it's too. That, it, it also yeah, is yeah. too bad because it's all overshadowing. I think what we said, which is we're all nitpicking a very good. I mean, it's a great yeah. game. It's a good game. It's a good game. It's so good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I agree. Anyway. You know, f- for me, I I I would. I wish I had played through the game before I heard about any of the stuff about the ending mm. because I kept sitting there going, okay, where's the... Where's and, the weird stuff? And it's, yeah. it's relatively unsatisfying, but it's not more unsatisfying the end of 
any game you any science fiction yeah. story. Like science fiction stories are sort of ambiguous and you know yeah. obtuse. And, but I think the well, little kid say, thing was, was annoying, yeah. and the fact that we see that. Like I didn't think the the dream sequences throughout were additive. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the kid showing up at the end was additive. But it's no different than the end of freaking like Contact or whatever the fuck. It's like uh, I don't know. I don't know. There are. Uh, I was just thinking that play like awesome game, uh, uh, Enslaved. That yeah. That had a really cool and there are games that have exceptional endings. Oh, of course. Yeah, but you could think, have been better. But but you and I guess we all expect. With this Bioware, and it's like it should have had an amazing. Then you say Dragon Age. I never finished Dragon Age, but you said that the end of that game was. Well, I mean, it, yeah, it's very traditional fantasy but it, ending, but yeah, yeah it's it's it has a. And great this ending. is a little falls a little short. Yeah. Especially with all the, I think people were upset <clears throat> that the um, choices they made. This is what we. Are. That's a big point. Okay. Is that the two the, the choices you make at the end don't no, really but, have any kind of bearing way, on and anything? And they they sold the game because someone's suing them because they sold the game. On the impression that the choices you've been making throughout the entire series, like what come into play in the uh, with the how you finish this game, and that well, is but even there is some grounds to whether you choose. It's all Paragon or Regan. It has nothing to do with if I save this person or didn't save that person or save or throughout my. But really, you know, one, also, two, I mean, journey. throughout throughout number three. You know the stuff that carries over from one and two is really just like extra poignancy. Right. Yeah. Agreed. It's it's if yeah. that stuff is still gonna happen, yeah. it's just if a guy you know is involved or not. Yeah. Right? So there's really very little. It's all kind of you kind of see behind the. Yeah. It's the a curtain. little. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it's not as as amazing as we remember Mass Effect One being. Did you play the multiplayer? I didn't. I never got around to playing. The you did, right? Yeah. Did you like it? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's the biggest surprise of this whole package yeah. is that a game we yeah. didn't expect to have good multiplayer. Ended up having really done yeah, good I mean, multiplayer. Yeah, to be able to have the powers with the fighting. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved. It, it's not against each other. It's all horde, horde mode stuff. Right. I maybe I would hate it, but part of me was like, wouldn't it be awesome to like be um, in a war frozen, zone? Or yeah, whatever, be yeah. frozen, be I like think floating be in the fun. air, and be like frustrated by that. But then like you land, and then you get like I feel like what would that experience be like? Mm. I'm, I'm sure they tested it. I'm sure yeah. they tested it right. extensively. Tested it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, cool. Mass, Mass Effect Three. <laughs> All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for some rad clips from year one of TRS. But first, we want to thank our sponsor, HostGator, can get your blogger website up and running in just minutes with plans starting at just $3.96 a month. You get 24-7 support, access to website building tools with over 4,000 templates. They'll even migrate your old site over for free. The servers are 130% powered by wind energy, which is more than enough wind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by more. definition. Yeah. Uh, it's uncalculable. Uh, unlimited disk space and bandwidth, 45-day money-back guarantee, $100 Google AdWords credit to market your site and for TRS viewers. HostGator is offering you 25% off your order or your first month is completely free. Just go to HostGator.com, enter the code TOTALLYRADSHOW at checkout. That's probably why they can offer it for as low as $3.96 a month because they're getting all that extra wind money. Yeah. That they're Dude, wind money. It's like... <laughs> it's a windfall. Yeah, how do you think wind servers work? They buy wind. Science. Don't miss tomorrow for our five year anniversary episode. Hey, no time to argue. Throw me the idol, then I'll throw you the whip. Give me the whip. Give me the whip! Adios, senor. <laughs> <laughs> It was easier than I thought it was going to be, but I probably, if I played other video games, but then this is so different than other video games because of the joysticks or the whatever than, than this little thing. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> you have in the ear! Jesus, I'm sorry! Oh, Christ, why the ear, man? Gas it. No, Ooh, not that way much. much gas. You're fine. You're no, 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 let it. Hey! Second, second, second. Oh. Uh, push the clutch in, push the clutch in. Watch oh. all the way in. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, let's go. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh my god, we've been trying with the brake. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like how three of us are in the car and we all missed the fact that the brake was on, but that's okay. Oh. Uh, I love you. I know. The difference between what you guys were just referencing, the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I said it, I 
excited? Did you, is there a look that I had right when I finished it? I was like the black, and I was like, oh no, it came out of my mouth. Oh my god, the look on your oh. face was just like, <laughs> it was like, nobody, did anybody hear that? <laughs> the shoe is destroyed! <laughs> the shoe! Um, oh so my god. So, James <laughs> names like black. Hold on, keep going. It came in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> it's almost lit, right? Mm. <coughs> Are you ready to spin it? There you go. You're not rotating the cigar. There it is. Keep doing that. You were almost there. <laughs> you were so close, it wasn't even funny. Uh, I have it lit. It's no. Lit. No, it's not. Mm. Mm. Yeah! Oh. There you go. There, there you go. Is. There it is. Boom! Oh! Look how much Punch. energy you can save from walking. Okay. Wait, ready? No, it's not like skating. I think That's why I look like a jackass. And you make fun <laughs> yeah. of I'm so excited for Jeff to try this because I watched Dan and I was like, "This is fucking easy." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. That's sort of yeah. it. This guy is the Whoa. athlete. Woo. That's sort of it. Whoa. No, not so fast. Oh! oh! We almost lost him again. <laughs> Rick, and if you're about to be raped, you just jack off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna rape! Right. Right. <laughs> um, okay, I'm better. I'm better. Oh. That was really close. Oh. I almost got raped. But Why I do I do these? Why do I say? Why do I say anything? It just made sense, and then I don't know how. So you all like knew. You Jackie knew Bob. what I was saying. Uh, you knew uh, I was referring to a matrix. I love you so much, Danny. <laughs> A Johnny Mnemonic like. No, we get it. Oh yes, jack God. off. Jack in. Jack, jack in. You jack remove off. the jack. Be jack out, yes. of course. <laughs> oh. Oh. Lift, lift at the same time. There you go. Lift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. <laughs> Why are you such a retard, dude? Seriously. What is your problem in making a mess? You're spilling it. We're, we're in a room that has been around since the 1800s, and he just made me fart three times. <laughs> I didn't know that was the truth. That was the truth. What? Bring it, bring it to me. <laughs> What, what's my hand doing? Shh, 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 Wow. Hi. This is this, this is, is the what? London night We are night from right Switzerland now. Oh, oh, right now you're from Switzerland? Oh, what's where, up? Did, that's, where did you guys just come from? We're from Switzerland. Is that, that's the international there? symbol of Switzerland. Is Switzerland? So I've got the blue here. Alright. All right. Uh, I can give it to you and you can go to the next location. But you guys um Behind. So what, if you guys want to continue racing? Yes. I'm going to tell you the shortcut to get to where everyone's sitting a break right now. <laughs> oh oh my God. God. Go to Horton Plaza. Okay. And look above the giant clock. Okay. Go okay. the giant clock and look above it, all right? Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks, bro. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for waiting for us. Hi, Scott. Yeah. Oh my God. That's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Life's like a movie, write your own ending, keep believing, keep pretending, we've done just what we set out to do, thanks to the lovers, the dreamers, and you. Everybody.
Let's punch it out, guys. No.